he himself gives. The God who made the world and everything in it, being Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in temples made by man, nor is he served by human hands, as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all mankind life and breath and everything, Acts 17, 24 to 25. We do not glorify God by providing his needs, but by praying that he would provide ours and trusting him to answer and living in the joy of that all-providing care as we lay down our lives in love for other people. Here we are at the heart of the good news, God's insistence that we ask him to give us help. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will glorify me. Psalm 50.15 This forces on us the startling fact that we must beware of thinking he needs us. We must beware of serving God and we must take special care to let him serve us, lest we rob him of his glory. This sounds very strange. Most of us think serving God is a totally positive thing. There is a way to serve God that would belittle him as needy of our service. Jesus said, The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and give his life as a ransom for many. Mark 10.45 He aims to be the servant. He aims to get the glory as he himself gives.